Hello, I'm Brandi Bauer with Merlin Law Group. I'm an attorney in the Denver office, and I want to welcome you to a maxi series, which is, by definition, longer than a mini series. And I will be going out on property to various locations in the field discussing matters that can occur with property damage and claims. First thing I want to talk to you about involves what you can see here, which is ice and snow accumulation on a roof. I'm coming to you today from beautiful Keystone, Colorado, and the weight of ice and snow is a real issue in mountain towns. Now it might not affect those of you that are seeing this video in a southern town, but for those of you that are in uh, cold weather country, uh, this can be a real issue because the weight of ice and snow can cause a roof to bow and sag and even lead to collapse. The water content of snow can range from 3 to 33 percent depending on how heavy or wet the snow is. Oftentimes these snowstorms are um, also have ice. Ice can be up to 100 percent of water. So now let's talk about the weight of water. One inch of water can weigh 5.2 pounds per square foot. If a normal residential roof is rated to carry 20 pounds, this would equate to approximately 12 inches of ice and snow. But again, that can vary. It could be a lot less than that if you're talking about a really wet snow that has a lot of water content to it. The other thing that can occur is ice damming. Ice damming occurs when warm air is circulated in the house or the business and it meets with the coldness of the ice and snow that is on the roof. And that can cause the bottom layer of that accumulation to start to melt. The water will then drip towards the edge, which is not supported by the structure and does not have the warm air underneath it. This can cause, again, what's called an ice dam. So an ice dam can cause water to, while it's flowing down, the dam occurs and then water can be brushed underneath the shingles. This can cause the shingles to dislocate and then can cause leaks in the interior. So as you can see, the weight of ice and snow can cause a real problem and wreak havoc on residential and business roofs. If this does happen to you, then please reach out to an expert and have them um, try to remove the ice and snow. Obviously it could be a dangerous situation and it may not be something they can do immediately, but do reach out to them and ask for their assistance. If damages do occur and you have to file a claim for damages, please feel free to give me a call and I'm happy to answer any questions um, or address any concerns that you may have. Again, thank you for watching this first video blog on property with Brandy.